Oh, hey, what's up, guys? Hey, coming to you today with uh, a couple new things from Wise, and we're gonna try something new today. Uh, we're gonna do just some quick unboxings. Today, I got the new Wise handheld vacuum and something we've talked about in a previous video, the Wise home monitoring system. So, let's go. Hey, what's up, it's Andrew. Welcome back to the channel. I love talking about technology and talking about it with you. If you love technology too, please consider subscribing as I'm releasing a video every week. I will leave links to everything I talk about as usual in the video description and all thoughts are my own unbiased opinions. We do have two things today we're gonna unbox. First, the Wise hand, high handheld vacuum and the Wise home monitoring system, which Wise was nice enough to offer so that I can give it a full review. Let's start with the vacuum. Okay, first I gotta say, the the box is pretty nice. You don't usually look at the box that long, I guess, but dude, check it out. 16,800 Pascals and 42.8 AW of suction power, baby. This thing really sucks. On the back, a nice summary of all the features. So you got how sucky it is. It's easy to empty. USB Type-C charging bonus. It's light. It's got a 100,000 RPM brushless digital motor. This thing sounds sweet already. A washable filter, flathead nozzle included, and you get 30 minutes of suck for every charge. I think I said they were suck enough. Let's open it up. All right, look at that. All nice plastic baggies. That's it's actually a decent size. Probably a little smaller than I was expecting. Here, let me take the condom off there. I'll compare it to, it's a GoPro. I think most people know what a GoPro is. So it's, that's the size. That's the size comparison next to a GoPro. And it's um, not very heavy. I think I can vacuum with this all day long or at least 30 minutes. Okay, what else we got in here? Because I was part of the early order I believe they shipped a bunch of the accessories with this vac. I don't think you get all of this stuff if you ordered it later. Okay, get this cool little hose. Should be useful for the car. We got our crevice tool, which I think is the accurate name, not being a vacuum expert myself, but crevice, that's what I'm going with. Little storage bag, because you need those for your vacuum. Okay, got my flat head nozzle, just like advertised on the box. What's this thing? Oh, a little hair dryer looking nozzle thing for sucking. Oh, it's for, I don't know what it's for. Oh, I think it's an adapter, because this is round. Okay, I gotcha. It's not a sucky thing. And a brush attachment. Okay, so you can use this on your cloth seats in your car, your furniture, stuff like that. Another useless quick start guide that's gonna tell me to probably just turn it on and vacuum. And, um, oh, and a charger. How about that? I recently reviewed the Apple Watch and unboxed that. No charging brick in the box. Wise. This makes no sense. Why did you throw a charging brick in the box? We don't need any more of these. Why? Let's see, it is a 10 amp charger, which is pretty common. And there's a cable in here somewhere. Here it is. USB-A to USB-C for not quick charging. I don't know, it's 10 amps. It's probably quick charging enough. Okay, well, let's go underneath. Nothing under there. Nice recyclable all cardboard box. So there it all is. Everything that comes with the vacuum in the box. Again, it comes with this bag. What well, would have been nice if it came with a stand for charging, but I guess you can just lean it up against the wall, right? That's no big deal. Completely dead. Um, and it does not have a removable battery. So I was hoping to test it out, see how loud it was, but we'll have to wait for that. Let's review everything it came with again. 
So you got the handheld vacuum. You got the sweet carrying bag. Charger, cable, USB-C to A charger. You got your flat head tool, fits right on there. Then you have your adapter thing for your crevice tool, for your brush attachment, and hose, okay? Okay, so to open it, whoa, flips open just like that. Hopefully all the dust doesn't come out when you do that. Um, okay, the, did, I did, it didn't open pretty quickly, spring-loaded action, but, okay. So I don't break it. I don't know how the filter comes out. Maybe this does serve a purpose. Guys, let's get started really quick. Okay, operating instructions, cool. Charge the battery, first step. Ah, there we go. Okay, it does come off. So, the dust cap, I guess it's called, comes completely off. And then, as the filter's inside. So, you can see that this is a nice, small um, HEPA filter, washable, I guess. So you can rinse that off, let it dry. I guess you can also rinse this off. That fits right back in there. And I did see on Wise's website too, you can buy replacements of these. So that's nice, they're already offering replacements. This just locks back in. Okay, easy peasy. Let me just check the operating instructions again. Press and hold the power button for two seconds to start the vacuum. Wait a minute. One, 1,000, two, 1,000. <sighs> I said this was completely useless, this paperwork. Turns out I'm a dummy. You have to press and hold the power button for two seconds to start it. And then press and hold to turn it off. So let me show you what happened on there. So I press and hold, then we got some indicators for battery life. And look, it came fully charged. Now. Oh. Blowing stuff off the table here. It does blow there. Okay, lesson learned. Read the quick start guide. Hold the button for two seconds to power it on and off. You also press it to toggle between high and low power modes while you're using it. I was about to say that this thing doesn't feel very sucky, but then I pressed the button and it got suckier. In the end, this thing sucks. I think this is gonna be a handy little device. Seems like a quality thing. No gaps, all the things. Um, we'll see how long the battery actually lasts. If I remember, this was about 60 bucks. So it didn't break the bank. It's gonna help me tidy up around the house. I'm digging it. Okay, Wise Home Monitoring Service. The bundle. This is the starter bundle that you get when you subscribe to the Wise Home Monitoring Service. Again, I didn't buy this. Wise was nice enough to send me a review unit. So we're gonna unbox this and then I'm gonna put it through with paces and I wanna do a thorough review because Again, this does come with 24 seven professional home monitoring. And that is through a third party called Noonlight. So I talked about Noonlight when they released this product. So Noonlight is a third party. This is not a subsidiary of Wise or anything like that. Noonlight is a third party security service that you can subscribe to by on your own and tie it into some of your smart home stuff or another common use case again um, highlighted on the Noonlight website is uh, Tinder. So that's Noonlight Professional Home Monitoring. Uh, $5 a month. $5 a month. That's all Wise is charging for this, which is why it's so intriguing. Again, with the low cost thing, Wise is trying it for home security. So let's bust this open right there. Nice compact box, very small. Okay, first thing we get, the Wise Hub. All right, we got some stickers. I'm gonna put those on front of your house. User manual. I'm not gonna discount that for this. This thing might require the user manual to set it up. Okay, 
And then in the box we got our keypad. One wise entry sensor, two entry sensors, and a motion sensor. So one, two, three, four, five. That's the starter bundle, hub, keypad, motion sensor, and two entry sensors. And what's this? Looks like just maybe, yep, some mounting screws. Okay, so let's open these up. See what they look like. Very nice packaging. They're always, they're always pretty good with their packaging. Okay, we got, get out of there. It is a lot of cardboard, so it's, it seemed minimalistic at first, but it's now it doesn't seem as minimalistic. Okay, got all your power cables and chargers. Not a charging brick, power brick. You don't charge this thing, you power it. So in the box, we got our US, micro USB cable, likely to power the hub, and an, there's an ethernet in there. So let's unwrap this hub so you can see what that looks like. Okay, so just a little flat base station, square. It is cloth, similar to the Google Home devices, so that's interesting. It does have a nice soft feel. Okay, Wise Sense Hub, and then all you got is a reset button, a micro USB for power and Ethernet. Keypad, let's check these out. And as I'm opening this, I'm gonna tell you, it's, it feels pretty heavy. So there's batteries in there. Another cool thing that I like about the, uh, what they're calling, this is the Wise Sense V2. So you remember when I did a review of the Wise Sense, um, which I really liked, by the way. There was really tiny sensors, but they retired those, the V1. This is the V2 stuff. Uh, a little bigger, but inside of these, uh -huh, is ah double A. So this is the keypad double A, which is really cool. Uh, the very common form factor battery, and you can buy rechargeables. So I think using a common battery here makes a lot of sense. Now you saw me open it up. It looks like this is just the wall plate to mount this. So with screws and adhesive, so you have your choice. Okay, motion sensor. You know, when I do my review of this thing, I'm probably gonna have to bust out my Sense V1 just to show you the size difference. I really like that V1 because it was so tiny. Uh, but this isn't huge, this is pretty small too. So that's the motion sensor. Very cool, it has adhesive already on it and on the angled sides, which I would assume equates out to be a 90 degree mounting angle, which is Pretty clever, good thinking. Cause yeah, putting this in a corner. And again, there you go, AAA batteries. Sticking with a, a conventional form factor battery for easily re easy replacement. Okay. Now let's check out the WISE entry sensor. So these are the sensors you would put on either your windows or doors so you can tell if they're open or closed. And they're magnetic, I can already feel it. So magnetic, uh, there's a line there to match it up. Some adhesive on there already, cool. And can I open it? Can I open it? Oh, this one doesn't slide, but it opens up easy enough. And again, AAA battery, very nice. And there you have it. The Wise Home Monitoring System starter bundle. You got your hub, you got your keypad for quick arming and disarming. You got your motion sensor and two entry sensors for a door or a window. And then of course you have your power supply, micro USB and ethernet. Everything to get you set up ready to go. A couple quick observations. They included batteries and everything. That's really cool. Again, this thing is super cheap. It was uh, at pre-order 60 bucks um, for one full year of monitoring and they threw in the starter bundle for free. Uh, I believe that's changed. I'm gonna update you in my review video uh, because typically after the pre-order period, WISE does update their pricing model for this stuff. Makes sense. They want to generate some buzz, sell some stuff early. I'm going to set this up. We'll see if that uses Wi-Fi or has to be plugged in and how responsive all this stuff really is. I will say also, I just received this and I'm unboxing it for you. But when you pre-order, uh, you were able to add as many sensors as you want. If you didn't do that, you couldn't add any more after. That has changed. You can now add stuff. Good job, Wise. I think that makes everybody happy. So that is it. That's a quick unboxing of the Wise handheld vacuum. 
and the Wise Home Monitoring System, something I am eager to test out. Please check back for more. I will be posting a review video about this home security system. Not sure I will for the vacuum, but if that interests you, um, I'm happy to do it. it. Might be a short, quick video, but leave me a comment down below. Tell me if that's something you'd be interested in. I'm happy to do it. Until then, stay tuned. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Stay digital. Peace.